What's up guys, Eric with Ham Radio Concepts, KJ4YZI. I got the new MFJ1982 LP. This is the low power, end fed, half wave, 80 through 10 meter antenna. So I got the QRP level that'll handle up to 30 watts. Uh, it's a half wave end fed, no tuner required. Uh, we're gonna use it today with the X5105 here by Izagu. And uh, see what this thing does at five watts for an end fed. John here is trying to throw it in a tree from here. He's going to be throwing it in a tree from me. And um, let's take a look and see what this antenna does. So before I get into showing it in the field, we'll take a look at this real quick. So it's a this model here is 132 feet long. This one handles 30 watts, 80 through 10 meters, uh, 30 watts peak envelope power. So they have a 30 watt version, a 300 watt version, and an 800 watt version of this antenna that does 80 through 10. Then they have a 40 through 10 meter that's I think 65 feet, 66 feet long, and it's 30 watts, 300 watts, and 800 watts. So if you don't want the longer one for 132 feet to do 80 meters, and you can get the shorter one. Uh, but it's great for a, a go kit or great for a uh, portable antenna because I could throw it in a tree. You can arrange it several different ways. Uh, you can you know throw it up with just uh, end feds are getting really popular. They have been popular, but a lot of companies are making end feds now. You know, easy enough that I can tie this up somewhere. Uh, it's got here a spot about a few feet from it that's coiled up. I guess that's uh, uh, not a trap, but maybe a um, a choke or something on here to keep it from coming back into the uh, the radio. And then an insulator on the end, just one wire, no counterpoise needed, no traps or anything uh, like that. Now it says no tuner needed. Um, I have noticed that I'm, I need a tuner a couple different bands, not much. I can do without a tuner, but uh, 30 is a little high, so you need a tuner on 30 and uh, a couple other ones. I guess if you get it up at a higher angle without having uh, too much in the way, I had it a little bit low today. So uh, I think that's what was causing it to need a tuner. It was bringing the SWR up a little bit. Uh, but, you know, you could use it with uh, a, a tall support in the middle to make more like a V, you know, and uh, uh, do it that way. You can make it uh, as an L, inverted L, different radiation patterns. Um, so, you know, it's pretty easy to, to uh, nothing really to it, to throw a wire up in a tree. I'll show you real quick. John uh, got it up in a tree for me, and uh, we each made a contact or two, but uh, got a little bit of film video here for you to see it in action and uh, maybe in the future when I do other videos uh, I'll use the uh, end fed here so we're gonna get this up in this palm tree way up there it's about 40 feet 50 feet John's got an idea to get his weighted rope up there he's gonna do it YouTube style He doesn't hit me in the forehead with it. Looks like I'm lined up. Oh, uh, yeah. Did you get it? Yep. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Right off the edge of the palm tree. All right, round two. I don't want that way. Said he watched this method on YouTube. Yeah, you got over the middle of that one. All right, that'll work. Yep. So 132 feet, that'll cover 80 through 10 meters, but 132 feet, I'm pretty far from the uh, pavilion there. That should be a pretty good slope. Make it a sloper. You can arrange this several different ways as a, a, uh, a sloper or a L, end fed, you know, several different ways. Okay, Tommy. 
QRP Portable in Florida, Kilo Juliet for Yankee Zulu India. Over. That is a Roger. Five watts here in Vero Beach, Florida. You're a good five seven five nine here. Over. Sure, the name is Eric, Echo Romeo, India Charlie, and we're in Vero Beach, Florida, Echo Lima 97, about two miles from the coast and sitting 15 feet from the river. Over. Hey, thank you very much. I will do that. Kilo 9 Alpha from Kilo Juliet 4, Yankee Zulu India. Thanks for the contact and 73. So overall, it was easy to set up. It was easy to put back in this bag. I can keep it in this bag here. It didn't really tangle. It rolled right back up like a garden hose that's been rolled up. Um, 49 bucks is the price point for this. And again, if and you have several different options for power levels and bands, um, a great inexpensive antenna that will work, throw it up in a tree, get down to business, roll it up and take off. Um, not too big here. Only weighs three, maybe two or three pounds to put that in your go kit. And... Um, they have a warranty on it. MFJ always uh, has been good to me. If there was ever an issue, MFJ takes care of it. So I support MFJ. And um, let me know what you think of the NFED wire. And more videos on the way. 7-3 from KJ4YZI.